why doubles are so hard to seed. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't know if somebody's a static, right? Yeah. You don't know if these two two tours in top 16 of Riptide are actually a static that play all the time that should have been seeded way higher. That their synergy just gaps the entire competition. It's exactly. like insane. The synergy, a thing of importance here in doubles. We'll see which one of these teams can capitalize on it more as Yash and Wolfie off to a hot start. Yeah, that's the thing. So it's always so funny talking to like a casual to Smash Bros competitive scene and telling them why Sonic is good. They're like, oh, he's like super fast and <laughs> finishes games quickly. No, he's actually so fast that people can't catch him. Yeah, he can control the pace of the game um, in, in every game mode, right? Yes, in, exactly. In, in singles and in doubles, Sonic is not an easy character to catch up with. As we're seeing it right now, he's controlling the pace, he's running away. He's hitting Danny Phantasma and running over to Mord to finish up that stock. What a nice sequence there from Wolfie. Yeah, and I mean, people kind of sleep on it, but Sonic does have a emphatic offense. I mean, from the top level, For sure. like Sonic's For sure. just in general, shows us many multiple times that this character does have an advantage state. Yeah, when Sonic uh, wants to push that advantage state and get those nasty reads, he can do that. Mm -hmm. He can kill you real early with some up airs or back airs. Yeah. As Danny Phantasma getting forced off stage here by oh. the Yash Wolfie double punch that has been so potent so far in this game. Yes, indeed. Speaking of potent, uh, Pokemon Trainer, honestly, a unique case study in uh, in doubles because it mm. shows you like Squirtle. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the Ivysaur classic. It's been catching people since 2018. Exactly. That drop ledge up B. It's so hard to telegraph sometimes, especially in doubles when there's extra chaos added. Exactly. Exactly. Always got to keep your Keep your peepers on the Ivysaur, but we're on Charizard now, and that means that the beefy boys looking to take some stocks. Yeah, stocks are going to be taken off the board real early now. High percentage as well. Wolfie chasing off stage. The back air not going to connect, plus Ultra with a great recovery, uh -oh. <laughs> and the back air is going to catch his teammate. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. That's the issue with heavies. You just get hit by everybody, and sometimes your big old hitboxes hit your teammate, too. And it's always yeah. a little bit tough. <laughs> yeah, that's the primary risk of having those big hitboxes and doubles. A little bit hard to place precisely. And now Yash working on Danny Fantasma over here, putting the work on him. Yeah, but honestly, that's a mark of a great team when the only person who can take your stocks is your teammate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other team can't get close to you. The only guy who's ever within range is your teammate. Yash, oh! whoa! Tries to recover with the side Bs, but two fairs double dip is going to get it done. Yeah, but Ness said it was so nice. I did it twice and says <laughs> goodbye to your second stock. See, so yeah, I like what Yash and Wolfie do with the ledge there. Yash mm -hmm. drops below as Wolfie holds on to the corner, and Yash kind of walls it out with the up beat from below the stage, and the up smash from on the stage is going to catch more. Ah, uh, and you can see here, Yellow Team trying to find that stock so they could kind of reclaim the lead in an emphatic way. Uh, you can see the Charizard on the right side of your screen try to go for some cheese, but not quite working out. Wolfie really forcing the red team to think off stage, Ooh. and upstage the up air connects. <laughs> uh, but it's the red team has come out and come out on top of it quite a few times. But Wolfie is forcing them to think at every moment of the game. They do not have a second to breathe. And right now, both of them off stage. Wolfie handling on both as Charizard takes the back seat. Yes, avoids that. <laughs> okay. that, was, that was scary though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yash gets out of dodge, but there goes Danny Phantasma with the Yoshi Bomber. He loves that moves in singles, and he loves it in doubles, baby, but not yeah. quite taking the stock yet. Especially in doubles, it's so easy to set up into it, mm -hmm. as Yash is going to be the one taking the front seat here, as would be expected. Yeah. The red team is going to focus their attention on Wolfie and catch Yash with the back air. And what started as such a great start for Team Yellow here <laughs> has since fallen apart, but the up air is going to take it off of Danny Phantasma. Yes, and here we are in that 2v1 scenario. Finesse, we love this scenario in all cases because uh, Wolfie could either drop the stock and make things spicy or we could see a devastating team combo. <laughs> wow, okay. No team combo needed, but Wolfie was threatening with that homie, homing attack. I've literally never seen homing attack go straight up like that, but it <laughs> yeah, would have been neither. nasty if they found the trigonometry to make that connect. Yeah, well, because, like, very very seldom do you see Sonics going, or, like, like Sonic players, not mm. Sonics, the player, going below their opponent to use that homing attack. Yeah. So that's not an interaction you see very often. And that's another thing that makes doubles so exciting is being able to see interactions and see move combinations and character mix-ups that you've never seen before. You know what I mean? It's entirely possible that nobody watching this stream has seen PT and Sonic play with each other. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? There's got to be a lot of people who have never seen this duo and are seeing things for the first time. And that's another thing about doubles that makes it so beautiful is that it stays fresh. Yeah. And I mean, it's kind of focusing in on PT, I was speaking about how they're kind of a unique case study as a character in doubles because 
typically yeah, it's singles. To yeah, the uh, Squirtle is like such a solid pick in uh, singles as, you know, small, light, fast moving. But in doubles, Squirtle is actually the least preferred Pokemon. Not a lot. Exactly. You know, with Ivysaur's super great team combo Nair and uh, kill power with the up air, it's just kind of a really great choice to start off with. And then Charizard, obviously your beefy boy. Uh, beefy boys are actually buffed in doubles yeah. as a game mode. It's actually insane. Very good at doubles and immediately taking an early stock, <laughs> which allows Yash to stick with Squirtle right now. You're seeing him, typically he'll open up with a bit of damage mm -hmm. and he's been able to stick with that for so long he is going to switch to the Ivysaur though. Yeah, exactly. And that was very See the patience grimy. from Wolfie? Yeah, I know. I was about to say, that was very grimy for Wolfie to just wait. Oh. And like a shark in the water finds that back air. And man, Moore is not having a great day today. <laughs> yeah, speaking of grime, that combo was disgusting. The back air going to catch him off stage. And two early stocks off of the red team. Never what you want to see. Speaking of two stocks, the Danny Fantasma is in it. trouble. Oh, oh no. man. And that's another stock caught. Sub 60 finesse. Yash and Wolfie's offense is firing on all cylinders right now. Nowhere is safe for Danny Fantasma and Mord. Another back air going to connect. Do we see a six stock here, Big M? Oh, my goodness. Every kill of back air and Wolfie just putting on the pressure. Red team just foaming at the seams here. Oh, finally an up smash okay, is going to okay. catch on Yash. Avoid the six stock. That okay. one was for the road. Another back air as well. Down two whole stocks, not impossible. We've seen some bizarre doubles comebacks. We've seen Danny Phantasma take early stocks. He goes for one right there. Caught off stage, no jump. That's pivotal right now. Can he get back? Yes, he can. <laughs> Wolfie is playing a whole nother game. If he was my teammate, I would be a little bit heated. I was like, <laughs> I'm getting clobbered, and you're over here spinning? <laughs> yeah, I'm over here trying to finish this stock, bro. Come help me. I'm trying to put this game away. Yes, yes. Wolfie trying to keep it in front of him. The homing attack hits his teammate. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit in the way there, but... Speaking of in the way, that f tilt goes straight through Mord and takes out Danny Phantasma. Very quickly, within a minute, this game seemed out of reach, and Yash and Wolfie finally put it there. It's going to take an <laughs> inhumane effort or a few team kills to put Mord back in this game. You know, I mean, Yash and Wolfie have literally played this game perfectly, but that had to be the worst throw he could have chose. Back yeah. throw, no hitbox, just keeps your <laughs> opponent, your, your teammate in a vulnerable state for like five seconds. That's so comical. That was explosive. Yes, it's yes. The only way to put it. That was emphatic from Yash and Wolfie. Both came in with a different type of vigor than we saw in game one. Game one was close. Game what happened? It was close. a nail biter. It's going back and forth. We're thinking, oh, who's going to win this? And then Yash and Wolfie come out on different timing. They just could not give Danny and Mort a break there. Yeah, the only nails I was biting was in fear for whenever one of one of uh, Danny Fantastic.